either. I'm Kijan Haynes, and this is the Marketplace Excellence Caribbean Report for Friday, June 25th, 2021. The MPE Caribbean Report provides updates from around the region. Even as Trinidad and Tobago plans to reopen its borders in the near future, Caribbean Airlines is making major structural adjustments. Until air travel regains its pre-COVID momentum, the flag carrier will scale down its operations to match reduced demand. Cost reductions will be made across the board, including to human resources, its fleet, and root network. 25% of Cal's workforce, or about 450 positions, is expected to be impacted by the changes as the airline works to recover major losses in revenue. The Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association and the American Society of Travel Advisors have teamed up to strengthen the relationship between travel advisors and the region. The partnership is intended to generate synergies in areas such as advocacy, information exchange, and cross-organizational membership. Vanessa Ledesma, acting CEO and Director General of the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association, discussed the development. We are seeing an increased trend in travelers' booking behavior in that they are relying on travel advisors more and more to help them make decisions. This trend gives CHDA members further opportunity to connect with more and new travelers. According to ASTA's insights, 64% of sales generated by ASTA members is for international travel, with the Caribbean trending as the number two overseas destination visited following Europe. No coincidence that 32% of ASTA members indicate the Caribbean as a specialization. Christina Salou is the Membership Director of ASTA. Our job at ASTA is to help generate new business leads and B2B opportunities, helping to expand their reach and increase tourism to the Caribbean. With over 13,000 members and growing, ASTA is the leading trade association for travel advisors, the travel industry, and the traveling public. Our membership represents 80% of the travel sold from the U.S. agency industry. This year's St. John celebration will feature events designed to encourage participants to experience USVI festivities safely while promoting the Department of Tourism's Division of Festivals Vaccinate to Party Safe initiative. Vendors at the July 3rd Love City Food Fair will showcase local food and arts and crafts, and the island's annual celebration will close out with a love fet on July 4th for 400 vaccinated patrons. The musical event will feature top local acts as well as Trinidadian soca artist Patrice Roberts. The USVI commemorates its emancipation from Danish rule on July 3rd and US independence on July 4th. This Sunday, the Island Space Caribbean Museum will host its inaugural fundraiser and global launch dubbed Magic at the Museum. Hosted by South Florida media personality Neki Mohan of Trinidad and Tobago, the program will feature a fusion of Caribbean talent, celebrity, and storytelling. David Mayer is the co-founder of Island Space, which is located at Westfield Broward Mall. For more information, visit islandspacefl.org. Our goals totally are to share the history the culture and the heritage of the people and everything that it is to be Caribbean. Virtual launch, Magic at the Museum, will be showcasing some of the story as well as some of the wonderful entertainment and education that we have to share. And it is with total joy that we are moving this forward by sharing with the world. We're hoping to be able to raise funds for the sustenance and to be able to build on what we've started here at the Caribbean Museum. And that's our update for the week. Remember, things change, and the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association has a comprehensive list of Caribbean countries and territories that are opening their borders, planning to do so soon, or are changing their COVID-19 travel protocols. So if you're planning a trip, visit caribbeanhotelandtourism.com slash COVID-19 for more details. We wish you an enjoyable weekend, and please wash your hands, maintain physical distancing, wear a mask, and stay well. I'm Kijan Haynes, and this has been the Marketplace Excellence Caribbean Report.